There we go. Now we're in it. Woo, look at that. Oh, come on. Oh, I bet that was a remora. That feels too heavy to be a remora. Ah, I bet it's a remora. Okay. Gang! Oh, that ain't no remora. Dang, what the hell is this? God, what? Oh, a bobo. Heck yeah. All right, we got our first catch of the day, guys. All right. First fish in the boat, perfect bait size bonita. Oh, damn. I think I got a king. Yup, I'm on already. Yup, on the jack duster. I don't know. He's bigger than the last fish for sure. Ah, oh, dang man, we ain't we can't even get out get out at all before we're getting hit. Big Bobo. All right, he's doing his circles. We'll let him do his thing, wear himself out. I'm gonna get Jack. Watch this. Oh, it's a black fin. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> He's mad now. <laughs> He's mad at me for doing that. That's pretty funny though. All right. Keep him for bait too. All right, any more, I'm throwing them back unless you want them. I'm gonna keep trying to do my intro. Every time I try to do my intro, I get hit. All right. Okay, guys, uh, I've tried to do my intro twice and I can't get through it without getting a fish. I get hit, Got already got two Bobos. So I'm gonna do it again. Hopefully I'll hook up again. So I'm gonna stretch this intro out really long. We are in Santa Rosa Beach, trolling offshore today. I'm here with yakking with Jack. Say hi, Jack. What's up? And uh, we're gonna troll, we're trolling for some big fish, big pelagics. Uh, you probably saw the sailfish video. Neither one of us would mind catching one of those today. And uh, we're gonna do some uh, king mackerel trolling and then we're going to troll some more and hit the reef. So I'm gonna get back to it. I guess it didn't work this time. I was hoping it would, but it didn't. So when the action starts, I'll get back with you. All right, guys, Jack got a king. Uh, 
So we're just gonna keep trolling. It's like too windy to try and stay on the fat or anything. So we're just gonna keep going. Uh, hopefully we can get on a, a good king mackerel bite like they did yesterday. All right, I'm on. Oh, did he get off? No, he's still on there. He's swimming to me, maybe? Oh, shit. I got both lines now. Oh, damn, he cut me off. All right, I can get this one. Dang it. Uh, what is that, a bonita probably? big whatever it is all right what is it I'm on King? It's big, whatever it is. Is that just a big bonita? Gosh dang it. It's just a big bonita. Bobo! That's a big bobo though. All right, okay guys, another pelagic here. Got a nice big old fat bonita. Dang it, I thought we had a king mackerel. How about what? You got one? You're like 25 inches. Nice. All right. I think so, yeah. Yep. All right, so we're gonna let this guy go. I got hit. I I got uh I got hit, and I think I had a king on this one. I started reeling this one, then the other one went off. All right, guys, we are about to troll over the reef. Uh, we're our kayaks are almost to the edge of it, and of course our baits are behind us, so they go over after we do. But we are getting close to hopefully getting some more action here. Oh, damn. damn, do you see that? I just got smoked. Cigar. Dude, that was a hard, I think he cut me. That was a hard hit. Yep.
God dang Bonita. God. Jeez, look at that. Gosh dang it. Yeah, oh yeah. Yep. All right, we're on. It's feeling kind of, I don't know, man. He's not running. It's feeling, feeling a little heavy. He may not know he's hooked yet. Come on, scream, scream that drag. Oh, man. I, I see something, I got color. He's still down there. Yeah, that looks too skinny to be a... I can't... Oh, that's a Spanish. It's a good one. Can't believe he ate that giant hardtail. Oh, man, he just splashed my lens. I can net that sucker. <laughs> what? Yeah, dude, as soon as he hit the net, the hook pulled. Yeah, that's a good Spanish. I'll take that. All right, we're on the board. We got an actual eaten fish, so that's good. So I think I'm gonna do a little catch and cook. Take this back and make some smoked fish dip. That's like my favorite thing to eat. I like to eat way too much. All right guys, we are here with our Spanish. One of the easier fish to clean. Got our sword knife. Make it easy, quick work of it. And uh, with these, I just keep it really simple. Cut there, just go down back line this get that okay now let's get this side too before we go down Same thing. Spanish's meat seems so much whiter than a king mackerel's meat. I don't know why, because they look like the same fish, just different size. But they sure don't taste the same. All right. So now, just try not to go through to the other side. Oop, yep, did it there. It's all right though. This is all gonna be put into a fish dip. So it don't have to be pretty. All that rib meat out. Let's get get the pin bones. Wow, pin bones go all the way back there. All 
All right. There we go. Now we'll go inside, we'll put it in the brine and get it ready to smoke tomorrow. When I do my brine, I like to do it four parts brown sugar, one part salt. So we're gonna go with about a half, try a half cup of salt. And then that'll be four cups of brown sugar. And you just, you really wanna just make sure you really coat the fish and get a thick layer on it because it's gonna draw out all of that moisture and a lot of the nasty stuff that uh, people don't like about mackerel and other oily fish. So that's about one cup. So I'm gonna need a bigger bowl and it doesn't have to be exact. It doesn't matter. So we're gonna take this, make sure the salt and the brown sugar all gets mixed. All right. So what we're gonna do first, I'm gonna take one of these. And I'm gonna put a layer on the bottom here, like that. We're gonna fish. Make sure. There we go. See how it's all making contact there? There we go. Okay. We'll just move this one over here temporarily. We'll do the same thing down here. Like that. Make sure, and then we're gonna press it down in there. So it's got good contact with it. And then we're just gonna take the rest, spread it over the top. And then we're gonna put it in the fridge overnight. And I'm sure after you watch both videos, you'll agree this looks way better than Jack's. So if I haven't talked about it yet, Jack and I were out and we both, he caught a king, I caught a Spanish, and we both were talking about making dip. And uh, as usual, Jack's a uh, Washington Redskins, Commanders, football team, whatever they are fan. And they are really good at talking trash, but they're not really good at backing it up. So I called him out. We'll see if he can back it up. Because obviously his football team can't. All right, so I'm gonna take, let me see this right here. Okay, we got it all covered with foil. Put it in the fridge overnight and I will see you guys tomorrow morning. All right guys, just pulled the Spanish out of the fridge. Oh yeah. See, look at all that liquid it pulled off of it. So, uh, what we gotta do now is just rinse these off and then pat them dry. So I'm gonna get some paper towels here. Get those ready. And then we're gonna just take them one at a time. Oop. Just rinse all that sugar and salt off. You see how stiff the meat's gotten? Yeah, that's gonna be good. Gonna make some good fish dip. All right, let's get these good and dry. All right, now let's go turn on the grill and get some smoke going. All right, so we got it going. Heat it up to 220 and get the super smoke. Let's make sure we got plenty of, oh yeah. Got a bunch of, bunch of those left. All right. All right guys, ready to put our fish on. That. We'll do it for about, let's do, uh, set the timer for, set it for about uh, 90 minutes and then we'll check the fish. All right, guys. Oh yeah, look at that. 
Really nice caramelization on top, but it's still a little moist. There we go, perfect. So let's get this in. We'll get that skin off the back and then we'll chunk it up and we'll get busy on making the whole dip. All right, guys, I got the skin off the back of this one and uh, so it's real easy. I like to take that bloodline out and uh, just real easy to get out, especially after you smoked it. All right, guys, here's all our ingredients here. Uh, we got sour cream, cream cheese, mayonnaise, lime juice, Tabasco sweet sauce, howler monkey sauce, chipotle mayonnaise, horseradish mustard. Uh, this is green onion, yellow onion, sweet peppers, celery, chives, and cucumber. So we're gonna get all this mixed up. I like to do equal parts of the cream cheese, the mayo, and the sour cream. So that looks about like a cup. This should be just about a cup left. And I say if you're going to go less on one of these, do the mayo, because the mayo can be over, a little overpowering. So, we'll get out mayo. And it's a lot easier if you mix these first before you add the other stuff. There we go, that's not right. Get these all mixed before you add everything. And it takes a while to get that cream cheese worked in. All right, I'm gonna add just a little splash. Lime juice, mix that in. Not too much, you don't want any one flavor to overpower it. Our sauce. Chipotle mayo. Horseradish mustard. There we go. All right. Get all these mixed up. And then before we add the vegetables, we're going to kind of test the taste of this. So, And you can go ahead and season it too before you mix in the vegetables. Uh, I don't, usually the from the brine, the fish is fairly salty. So you usually don't need any salt. But I always like to add a little garlic. So we're gonna put a little garlic powder in there. All right, now let's try it. Oh yeah, all right, let's add the fish. Fish all chopped up. Now start adding our veggies. I don't add them all at once. I add a little of each and then kind of see where it's at and how it tastes. Especially with the onions. You don't want to overpower it with onions. All right. You can see the great colors this has too. Let's try a bite. That's really good. Oh yeah. I think it's there. Um, I don't know that it needs any more. I'll put the rest of the chives in because they really add a good flavor. I think we're good with everything else though. All right, so I think it's completely 
ready. Looks good. So, let's try a bite. Oh yeah. That's my best batch yet. Yep, that's good stuff. All right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, don't forget, let Jack know mine looks a lot better than his. I'm, I'm thinking his he's Washington fan, so his is probably gonna be really simple and bland, but to each his own. So uh, I guess till next time, tight lines, everybody. See you on the next one.